Good morning everyone and welcome back to Meister Tarot. It's a bit gloomy out today so we'll get started on this reading today. Now I have so many topics to cover. We hit uh, Russia and the US fairly intensively last week so I'm going to move on to a couple of different topics this week uh, depending on what happens, what happens in the news and um, where we all go. Sorry it's a bit wobbly, it's my card table. <laughs> Oh, next house I will actually build myself a dedicated office, which will be fabulous. So what I want to have a look at today is I actually want to have a look at the relationship between China and the Solomons. I did a reading on this a month ago. Um, I stand by what I saw then. Um, and what is actually happening for those that don't know, the Solomon Islands is a small... Uh, archipelago of islands off uh, about 2,000 kilometers off the coast of Australia. Um, we, our elections can't come soon enough. Our government over the last five years, um, so these, these are our neighbors, these are our Pacific neighbors. They are a country, a small country that is very reliant on tourism and very reliant on its people's um, going overseas to countries like Australia where they uh, do seasonal work uh, such as crop picking and working in the uh, produce factories etc sending the money home to their country um, and um, and bringing wealth to their families by Solomon standards Solomon Island standards um, obviously with COVID the um, tourism dollar has stopped Australia closed its borders so the workers could not come um, and Solomons has been put in an extremely difficult position. It is also a country that is low-lying and therefore is extremely vulnerable to climate change and uh, uh, there is a very much a risk of the actual uh, island chains uh, being uninhabitable at some stage in the future. So there is a lot of anxiety in the country, financial and um, and uh, physical security. Now Australia uh, does provide aid. We are an extremely wealthy country in our part of the world on, uh, on comparative standards. Um, so we do supply aid as well as New Zealand supplying aid to our uh, poorer neighbours um, because we need to look after our neighbours. However, what has happened is that over the last five years, the aid to the Solomons from Australia has been reduced. Uh, our, the foreign aid to the Solomons has been reduced by just under uh, 13%, which doesn't sound a lot, but it is combined with uh, what's happened during COVID. Um, it has financially been extremely difficult for these, this country. So what has happened recently is that uh, we, if you're up to date with uh, international politics, you will know that China is trying to expand into the South China Sea and down into the shipping lanes um, around that uh, top. If you look at Australia, it's in this top right hand side, the um, northeastern sector, which is a very significant shipping lane uh, where ships pass. Uh, down uh, below India and then up through the Papua New Guinea, Indonesia zone uh, and out into the Pacific. Very, very busy shipping lanes. China is wanting to expand down into that uh, area and they have had this Belt and Road policy for a while where uh, China will go into countries that need assistance provide that financial assistance in exchange for something that China uh, is beneficial to China. Now, as every country is, China will do what's best for China. So what's happened is that uh, China have uh, negotiated with uh, the Solomon Islands, the leadership of the Solomon Islands, to set up a naval base. Uh, 2,000 kilometres off, off Australia, so of course then the, the Australian government's sort of a bit up in arms. Now what's happened is a leaked uh, draft uh, uh, contract agreement, I can't think of what it's called, um, between uh, the Solomons and China has been released. 
And of course, our government of the day at the moment um, very much is a knee-jerk reaction government without forward planning have uh, got themselves up in arms about this contract. Now, I mean, I knew about this contract a month ago. Uh, one of the um, leading diplomats from the Solomon Islands, uh, might have even been the Prime Minister of the Solomon Islands, has come out and said, well, we told Australia, Australian um, government about this agree potential agreement before it was even in draft form um, back in August in 2021. I knew about it in, in what, January, February. Um, Australia was warned and took no action on it and ignored it. So the Solomon Islands have said to Australia, look, we need this deal for our financial security, for the protection of our future as a country. And the Solomon Islands are going to do, just like China and just like Australia, will do what is best for the Solomon Islands. So I just want to have a look. So Australia, the Australian government really dropped the ball on this one. Again, uh, you know, they've... Uh, don't get me started on politics in this country. We are a country where we take our politics very seriously. We do not take our politicians seriously. They need to earn our respect. We don't give respect just because of their position. So there's no respect your president if the prime minister is a... <clears throat> yes, we will give him what he deserves. So... No qualms about this. We are going to an election in May, which is only a few weeks ago. So it will be interesting to see how this all plays out. So first of all, I want to have a look. Will the agreement between the Solomon Islands and China go ahead? I will do an abbreviated Celtic Cross on this one. Will the agreement for a naval base in the Solomon Islands, between Solomon Islands and China, go ahead. Will the agreement on a naval base between the Solomon Islands and China go ahead? Will the agreement on a naval base... This flew out at me the world card. Uh, this is about um, a, a uni unity of diversity, um, the world coming together, the world now being aware. So I hope I'm putting a little bit of awareness out there as well, but tell me, will this abbreviated Celtic cross, tell me, will this agreement between China and the Solomons go ahead? Will this agreement between China and the Solomons go ahead? Will this agreement between China and the Solomons go ahead? Sorry, I was thinking about my dog. I don't know why she's popped in there. Uh, Bindi, who's done her ACL. She is due to go and get x-rayed. Hoping she doesn't need surgery. Very expensive. But if she needs to have it done, she will have it done. <laughs> wish fulfillment. I hope that was my wish fulfillment that she, <laughs> she doesn't need the surgery. Tell me about, oh, flinging out at me everywhere. Okay. Not sure what these order these cards will go in, but we'll start with these and see if the story emerges. They've popped out at me. Okay. So the one that re immediately caught my attention, this is my mystical manga cards that I use for political readings, was The Fool. Now this is, The Fool in many decks talks about uh, starting out on a new journey, a new beginning with faith and courage. But in this particular deck, this fool is not stepping out. He's not on this journey. The path is behind, is behind him. And he is looking uh, downcast and disappointed. Can also mean foolish, but I think what this really is telling me about is that the people of the Solomons very possibly now, 
this is uh, entertainment only, allegedly, allegedly speculation. So please, if anybody is on the inside there, let me know. But I think that basically they feel like they have been forced into the situation down this path purely for, um, purely because they need a... What, what a naval base will bring will bring a permanent financial security to the islands, a permanent cash income to the islands. But they, it's, it's not what they really want. They feel disappointed that this is the path that they feel that they have to take for the future. It is crossed by the disappointment. There are two cups still standing. Uh, but it is about the loss and what I'm really feeling here is this loss is what has been brought about because of uh, the last few years with COVID the loss of um, the feeling now there's three three cups down the loss of security the loss of um, financial security the loss of uh, feeling emotionally supported and the loss of um, potential um, standing in the region as they feel that they have to take this path. However, at the bottom of the reading, we have our diplomat. <laughs> okay, gives me a little bit of hope. This is the strong... Um, all all kings are, uh, are leaders, but this particular leader, he is a, a diplomatic, calm, emotionally balanced, rational uh, figure who is willing to work through what is currently happening. In the past, we have the Page of Cups. Now, this was the revelation. This was the revelation of this document which, you know, our government is claiming it took us by surprise, but hey, I'm a lay person who's not in politics and I knew about it a while back. Uh, this uh, crowning the reading is retreat. So I'm, the question was, will this deal go ahead? I'm not seeing this deal going ahead. I am really hoping that this diplomat, diplomat steps up. Um, but this is about retreat. Uh, re, um, rethinking, reassessing, uh, reassessing their truths, reassessing um, what their pos what their potentials are, and it will be paused. Okay, this is the immediate future. This is what I'm getting. I might keep going with this one. External influence is the Knight of Wands. So this is all about um, uh, careers, plans, bringing forward a new plan, um, but also communication will be key. So this is the external factor. Communication is going to be the key, but this is what was behind this, was about the future, the, the jobs, the careers, the, the, just the passion, bringing stability to the country. The Knight of Wands. Internal. They are reassessing that they will reap what they sow. They feel that they, going back to these cards, that they were forced down this path because they're, um, they were feeling abandoned by their traditional um, partners, their traditional friends, but they are reassessing that they will be reaping what they sow and it's not necessarily comfortable. Hopes and fears, yeah. It, Ten of Swords, this is their fear, is that it will be the downfall of the Solomons if they do allow it to go ahead. Okay, like that. So this is all about inner strength, moving forward. Look at the determination there. Compassionate power, taking control, inner strength. So this is the Solomons um, taking control of their own future. After this introspection period, after this 
retreat period judgment this is all about so what has happened is a is a a collective awakening it this it was inevitable under the way that i will say we because we as a country australia had our blinkers on i mean we have had our own strife we've had um massive bushfires we've had covid we've had um devastating floods it just you name it everything's been thrown at australia but that does not give us the excuse to ignore what is happening with our neighbors just like in any community you might be going through strife in your own home but it does not mean that you ignore the the needs of your actual community and the needs of your neighbors and by coming together we are significantly stronger so this is about a collective awakening so this is the slap around the chops um, for the australian government to wake up to themselves and circles of support i like that for an end card we will work together and what i'm seeing here is this is australia the solomons and new zealand working together coming together will happen fairly quickly there will be an offer made uh, going back to the how it was the past there will be some financial loss on in regards to this but it will be the best thing for the Solomons as they move on manifest things into possibility base of the pack plans coming to fruition choices to be made working together working together interesting i have then this winning at any cost and abuse of power truth coming forward in regards to this okay i'm reading further into this on the base so there has been some deals been done there has been deals been done there have been plans being made there is a bit of illusion and delusion in regards to these plans as deals have been made as these cards came out to form the story this was about lies abuse of power dishonor so i think the solomons were not fully um entertainment only allegedly allegedly but those uh who have made these decisions in the solomons may have been somewhat duped in this agreement but the truth will come forward about a hidden agenda we then have the star card which is the star of restoration and respite there will be a tower moment but the future prosperity abundance will come with this truth okay hope that made sense my cards do like to tell me a bit of a story I very rarely throw literally just three on them so i want to have a quick look at um so in 2020 our northern neighbor again can't claim naivety on this one we would have been our government would have been fully aware china signed an agreement with papua new guinea on the northern shores of australia for a fisheries industry to build a fisheries industrial park again great news for papua new guinea but what's in this for china again papua new guinea is on that um, they're on the northern border of Australia uh, where these major fishing uh, shipping lanes pass through for international trade so please tell me about tell me about this this agreement between China and Papua New Guinea regarding the fishing the fisheries industrial park please tell me about this agreement tell me about the energies just four cards please tell me about the energies in regards to 
Okay, interesting. Had the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords both throw out at me. Uh, this is very much bringing forward um, the truth, the wisdom, revelations in regards to this agreement, the energies around it, and the base of the pack is the devil. It's there it's not a good energy, but I'll just I'll continue. It's about investment, wisdom, insight. But with combined with that devil energy. It's not particularly good, but tell me three, four cards, please. Four cards, please, with the energies in regards to this agreement for the fisheries industrial park between the truth behind it, the truth behind it, the truth, the queen and king of swords, the truth, devil energy, chaining Papua New Guinea, chaining Papua New Guinea. To this energy okay but tell me please another four cards tell me about okay tell me tell me about this energy temperance a, a grounding a spiritual and physical grounding rebalancing moderation the magician manifesting possibilities. This is how Papua New Guinea sees it. Knight of coins, slow, steady, diligent, forward, prosperous progress. And the chariot, so forward movement. And both the chariot and the eight of wands, it'll come forward. There'll be messages about this very quickly. Um... Boundaries will need to be set. And then we have the Eight of Swords, restriction, confinement, unable to make their own decisions and their own moves. Okay. Base of the pack, we have the Hierophant, which is the, the government, the systems, loss, illumination a new start with this con this a new start with this contract uh, that was a choice it, it's already been signed it was a choice it was for the sake of the people for the um, future of the people of Papua New Guinea but the next two cards are quite revealing in that we have this deception card and then we have this devil energy of being underfoot. So that was <laughs> my four cards. Um, that's the energy that it was done in, in faith and trust that it is the best thing for um, Papua New Guinea, that it's the best thing for the people of Papua New Guinea, but the, it's not entirely above board okay just tell me will this fisheries uh, I think that so it was done for the for the people of Papua New Guinea again very much like the Solomons in that it is far from a wealthy country it's had its very much fair share of of difficulties um, from uh, in a civil war uh, tribal wars, uh, corruption in government, uh, COVID, lack of opportunities. It's a, and it's an extremely hard country to tame. It's one of those um, that they're still trying to find their trying to find their way into the 21st century. And I do apologise if that came across as derogatory. It is a beautiful place. The people are wonderful people. When I talk about these things in a negative light, it is not the people. It is those in power and the enablers 
of those that take advantage when there is so much opportunity. But tell me, will this fisheries industrial park go ahead? No, I'm being told that's the wrong question. The right question is what's in it for China? What is in it for China with this fishery park, investing in this fisheries park? What is in it for China? What is, okay, what is in it for China? Yeah, I'm being told that was the right question. What is in it for China? What is in it for China? What is in it for China? What is in? 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 What is in this agreement for China? I can see what's in it for Papua New Guinea, but what is in it for China? What is in it for China? One more. Thank you. I don't think I need to explain that card, do I? There is something that is not being revealed. There is a purpose that is not being revealed. Challenged by a contract being made, but it is a contract made under... under uh, if I say difficult conditions, um, again, it was one of those... Papua New Guinea had to do what's best for Papua New Guinea as they saw it. But I'm drawn to the angel overseeing this partnership and it does not look particularly pleased with what, is, what has happened. Base of the pack we have the world which is um, an ending of a cycle. In the past, the Ace of Coins. So this is about this agreement was signed, and the agreement was signed in the in the past in 2020. Uh, it was about uh, financial security, domestic security for Papua New Guinea. So completely understandable. Crowning the reading, we have can be manifesting amazing possibilities but the other reading is on this is manipulating manipulating something into reality got all the tools in the toolbox to make it happen and I'm in this particular deck I am really drawn towards the manipulation Immediate future. Okay. Sorry, I paused. I was I was tuning into the actual meaning. Again, the hangman has so many meanings from seeing things from a different point of view to things being halted to um, but in relation to this, this is very much about the sacrificial the sacrificial lamb. So it's about using, sacrificing, using Papua New Guinea for their own aims, which oh, external influences, the hidden agenda. Gosh, okay, internal influences is the government. So this is the internal in Papua New Guinea, but the external influences is this hidden agenda. Things not being revealed, hopes and fears, Hope is that they have the choices. Fear is that they have been deluded. These are heavy cards. Now the question was from China, so we have this success card. This manipulation will be successful uh, with this wish fulfillment, but also the smug merchant. And this guy popping out again. He comes out a lot with Russia. He comes out a lot with China. This is about winning at any cost. Abuse of power, lies, dishonor, 
you look at the next to this wish fulfillment smug merchant look at the look on the face of that hope that's in focus it is a very smug smirk of winning at any cost and it is going forward quickly Papua New Guinea will reap what it sowed not necessarily in its best interests base of the pack oh, base of the, <laughs> it's not getting any better the restriction of the people under this my way or the highway will be come to the fore okay Allegedly, allegedly, speculation. If you're in that neck of the woods, please tell me what the mood on the on the ground is. I wish I had better news. Um, for both countries, for Papua New Guinea and the Solomons, um, Australia has no one to blame but themselves for the position that it, for what is going on. Uh, we dropped the ball big time. So uh, my sincerest. From the people of Australia, my sincerest apologies. Um, I hope this works out for you. I hope that this is what is best for your countries. And I really hope that your leadership will be strong enough to, to ensure that the people themselves prosper. So love to you all. Hope and light, love and light for a positive outcome. And take care. Catch you later. Bye-bye.